I guess my first connection was in 1981 or 82 when I, when I uh, finally realized after years of drinking and losing out because of drinking. And I, I started drinking when I was in the Navy, <laughs> which a lot of us did. Lived on the streets at one point for two years. Um, went through the hostel system, which was a lot different than it is today. Felt there was, there was a, an answer to it, and I ended up at the Harbor Light. I don't think the public understands what the seniors need, because I don't believe the public's looking at it, because they aren't there, and they can't see themselves ever getting there. I guess I've probably done a little bit of everything there is to do here, driving the van, and uh, cooking, and cleaning, or whatever comes up. I just kind of jump in and fill in and do it when needed. We're looking at having either a bi-weekly or a weekly program in this space. One of the purposes of, of doing this in the first place is to get seniors out of their buildings because they tend to, their building becomes their, their world and we want to try and pull them up and maybe take them on day trips somewhere. Anything that will instill hope back into their lives no matter how simple it might be to us. Some seniors are into computer, some of them. So we do have six computers here that, with internet that they can come in and use it. We have been donated a van, four or five blocks to somebody 75 years old is a long ways. So we feel this van will, will help us to get people out of their, their little circle that they live in and, and we'll be able to bring them out. And I think this is the biggest thing, they're left alone and there's no contact with the outside world and they give up hope. I really like volunteering and it does a lot for me because I see benefits for other people. You just can't sit back and take the attitude, I'm 40 years old today and I'll never be 80. And someday you're gonna cross that line. Somebody has to do it. Somebody has to bring the seniors back into the circle.